Good morning and welcome to the Milky Way Adventure Park here in Devon. I last visited here two years ago and Charlotte here, you've never been never before. Been. So we thought that you might have been when you was a kid, but I you don't, don't recognise no. any of it at all. Of course, you came down here a lot as a kid on holidays yes. in Cornwall and Devon, of course, where we are today. Uh, check out the other vlogs if you've not seen them. So Charlotte's got three new coasters to get on today. Yay. And there's a few other rides here as well. There's not loads at this park. It's a half day park. And in fact, we're going to be spending half of the day here. And this afternoon, we're wrapping up this little trip we've done around Devon and Cornwall with a visit to the big sheep. Yay. So we've got loads of goats and sheep and all sorts coming up yeah. later. I hope there's sheep at the big sheep. <laughs> now I went there two years ago as well. I did the exact same actually, did these two parks in the same day. So we're going to be heading there. So yeah, we'll get a shot on the three coasters, including the parks um, Carry Pro Batflyer um, that opened in 1997. Used to be known as Clone Zone, and in fact it still was two years ago. Then last year it had a big re-theme into Ziggy's Blast Quest. So you're looking forward to getting on Ziggy? I don't know what it is. Oh, I think you're in for a treat. I'm looking forward to it. I've seen a couple of POVs. Looks a lot better than it was before when it was Clone Zone, and I quite enjoyed it when it was that so it's an indoor roller coaster in fact it's in the building we can see just behind us so looking forward to getting on it we'll head into the entrance it's pre-booked tickets only at the moment much like most theme parks out there so we'll get in shortly and yeah come and join us for our day here at the milky way adventure park where we're going to check out the re-themed ziggy's blast quest looking forward to this one so as we can see from the sign here at the entrance, face coverings must be worn in all inside areas. So please put them on now. Of course, the entrance here um, starts inside and quite a lot of it here at the Milky Way Adventure Park is indoors as well. So we'll wait for these doors to open at 10 o'clock and we'll get inside. We're on the morning session today. Masks on now. Right then, so we're inside the park. And like I said, just outside, a lot of the park is indoors here. So face coverings are required throughout. Um, but yeah, they've got a one-way system in action, as you can see from all the yellow markers on the floor. But we're gonna head towards Ziggy's Blast Quest first to go and check that out. So we'll head straight down this way. Yeah, they've changed all the layouts here, of course, because of COVID-19. And normally they'd have up to 2,000 people here a day. I mean, the guy at the entrance has just told us this. And how many is there here today, Charlotte? 200 so they've really reduced the capacity here at this park um, just in case of course the weather's bad because quite a lot of it's indoors um, so yeah we'll make our way down this way let's go and check out Ziggy's it used to be clone zone and it had that re-theme for last year so looking forward to giving this a go it's a very interesting setup here isn't it yeah. very different <laughs> very different it's not a big place at all it's quite small but we'll head straight down this way and here it is Ziggy's Blast Quest so yeah the entrance has moved actually around the back just here it used to be around the front What's up with the first people here? So here we go. Let's go and see Ziggy. Here we go then. Entering the queue line. The pre-ride video, it's got a pre-show. So yeah, all this area is brand new. Used to be down the other end, like I say. First people of the day. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> Ziggy. So of course this is telling you about all the different buttons that you've got to operate. Place your hand inside the strap across the back of the blaster room to shoot, hold out the laser and point it at your target. So Just yeah, it's a fully interactive device. roller coaster now. Here we go, around this way and let's go on. That's it, I'm in. Buddy, you want to pop your hand in there? Yeah. There's the black button on top, that's what you used to shoot. That will never be a score at the end, okay? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah just use that. I adults secretly love buttons that make noises, so you can go crazy with them, mate, all right? All right, okay, thank you. you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, here we oh, go. Good luck, guys. On Ziggy's Blast Quest. Oi! Oh, it's good, isn't it? Trying to shoot all these targets all the way around. Some good new bits of theming in here. So these bat flowers are basically little inverted coasters. The interactive is quite interesting actually, the fact that we're holding it.
Loading bay number one. Hey! And there we come. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Waiting for the doors to open just here. I've just had my Ryan. Charlotte's going to be coming in shortly. Here we go. Doors are opening. Hey, and there she is. <laughs> coming into land. <laughs> hey, there we go. What an interesting ride system. They've done the vehicles up really nice though. So I've been reunited with Charlotte after Ziggy's Blast Quest. What did you think of that? <laughs> so strange. I've never been on a line out before, but I really liked it. It's a really weird ride. It's not the longest. It's only just under two minutes in yeah. total. But I tell you what, they've done a really good job with the re-theme and the trains look amazing now. And of course, with it being interactive, you've got like the little handheld globe. I mean, you just press the button on there. Yeah. You can press the buttons at the front to make some noises. It's very interactive. Great ride. Like, yeah, it's really, really well themed. Yeah. Honestly, you're going round it. You've got all the star cloths in there, uh, like all the aliens and spaceships around. Spaceship. <laughs> it's just really nice nicely put together. It's a really good indoor roller coaster and it makes me quite sad to say it but it's one of the best indoor roller coasters we've got in the UK. We don't really have much in terms of indoor coasters sadly. I mean abroad you've got some fantastic indoor coasters like Vogel Rock for example at F Telling but we've got nothing like that anymore in the UK. So Ziggy's Blast Quest is actually a really unique attraction and it's well worth coming here. It's the only one in the country that you've got to come here and check it out. It's well worth coming to this park just for that on its own. Um, it's such an interesting ride system. It's really weird and yeah. it's got quite an eerie atmosphere in there, hasn't Strange. it? Really weird. The fact that if you're an adult, you have to go on there on your own. Yeah. So, um, you know, like you go through. I liked it at the start with like, the strobe lights and the smoke and it was just really well, well themed, really good. A lot better than Clone Zone. Makes a lot more sense now and the fact they've moved it from the front to the back of this building is a lot better now because everybody used to always sort of ascend on it straight away uh, when he came in whereas now putting the entrance around the back just here is a lot better really in the fact that uh, it's not like the first thing that you see but no really enjoyed that great to get on there then we'll head outside then now and go and get on the other couple of coasters around this way for the one-way markings right there and up next it's time to ride cosmic typhoon sun's out here today nice blue sky Lovely day for getting on some rides. And of course, like we said at the start of the vlog, we're gonna be uh, doing the rides here today and then making our way down to the big sheet this afternoon. Perfect, really, for doing them both in the same day. Here we go, cred to cred. Let's go around this way and get Charlotte on there. Like I said, I got this a couple of years ago when I came here for the first time. So yeah, you've just got this small little outdoor area. There's a little train around here. You've got the uh, caterpillar coaster over there. So we're gonna get on Cosmic Typhoon. Oh, a bit of Macarena, here we go. <laughs> Love it. Right, let's go and get on board. Cosmic Typhoon. Off we go. Quite a few trains running on this one, actually. But yeah, I can't believe they've limited the capacity to 200. I mean, yes, it's a very small part, but that is really low. Oh. At least this one's running more than one train. Yesterday, we were at Camel Creek. We had a similar coaster to this, and uh, yeah, it was running one train. And they got quite a big queue in the afternoon. So in terms of where this park is located, it's literally in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing all around here. There's a maze though down there, big maze. Here we go. Whee! Oh, Cosmic Typhoon. But yeah, there's all the buildings. Such a weird little park. Whee! It's smooth though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Are we going to get any sharp braking on this one like yesterday? No, oh. not too bad. What about this one? Oh, not too bad at all, that. Oh, oh, that was, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Cosmic Typhoon. Quite a nice colour scheme in this one. I like the orange paint on it. Really nice. And the trains are really well themed as well. And I ride there on Cosmic Typhoon and I don't think that was too bad, was it? Yeah, it was okay, actually. Yeah, I seem to remember last time I came here two years ago that that was quite smooth. But you got on there, another credit. Yeah. Hey, and you can probably hear it in the background. Gonna get this little caterpillar. Then we've done the three coasters in about 15 minutes. I know. If you are coming here, it is literally a few hours max. I mean, I think last time I was here, I spent maybe three hours here and did a few re-rides. Of course, we'll go on Ziggy's again because that was absolutely awesome. There's a Dodgems inside. There was a couple of little walkthroughs. Uh, normally, there's quite a lot of like play areas and stuff here as well but of course due to COVID-19 they are closed at the moment 
in terms of hand sanitizer uh, they've got those provided at the entrance and exit of the different rides as well as we can see test. here there we go the little uh, hand sanitizer test what have we got charlotte what's it like the smell it's test right, yeah out of 10 what would you say for the smell Seven. So seven out of ten, good solid review. But yeah, we'll go on this one now. Our third coaster in 15 minutes, brilliant. Right then, here we go. <laughs> Arms in the air on the front row. We've got a train to ourselves, I think, on this one. Yeah. Hey. Of course, on Cosmic Typhoon, you get a train to yourself because of social distancing. As much as it's a four seater, you're only putting two on at a time. Lots of really nice scenery around here. Some nice green spaces if you like to bring a picnic. But there is a few food offerings here as well. Not loads though, because like I say, it's a very small little park. Lovely day for it though today. It's gorgeous. You can tell it's a lot warmer here than it was down in Cornwall. We're about two hours away from Flambards. Here we go. Hands in the air. Hey! <laughs> oh! Oh, she's good, but she's no Ziggy. No Ziggy. Yeah. <laughs> Cosmic Caterpillar. Do you think you can handle a second lap, Charlotte? I don't know, to be honest. It's quite intense, this Caterpillar. Look at his antennas there. <laughs> I like how they wobble about when I we go around. I hold on to them. Oh, I know, yeah. <laughs> don't know what that big uh, building is just over in the distance. You see it right over there. It's not part of the park. It's like a birdery. A what? Like an owlery or something. An owlery? Yeah. I don't think it's that. <laughs> Maybe there's some locals watching this who can tell us. Hey! One drop special. Oh, it's got a bit of a queue now. There we go, the Cosmic Caterpillar. Three coasters down in 15 minutes. Right then, so 20 minutes in, we've done the three coasters. Yeah. Three credits for Charlotte. Yeah. Which one was your favourite? I liked Typhoon. Yeah, you like Cosmic Typhoon? Yeah, yeah. I liked Typhoon. Well, I'm a big fan of Ziggy. I like Ziggy's Blast Quest. I just think it's really nice, unique indoor coaster. And we'll go on again later and I'll take you on for another on-ride POV. Anyway, we thought we'd just come on the train here. Normally there's a sign here, it says what time the next train is. And it said quarter past 10, which was five minutes ago. Uh, we just asked the operator and said, when's the next train? And he said, now. <laughs> so yeah, literally we're the only ones on. So you've got all the carriages. Looks like it's quite a long train ride, but it's not. Uh, well, there we go, give us a honk and off we go. But um, yeah, it looks like it'd be quite a long train ride, but it's only short and sweet. Only a few minutes from what I remember. And it takes us round this way. And I think there might be some animals that we can see. I so. so I'll spin you round and we can see if we can see any animals here at the Milky Way. Start off there with some nice views. Cosmic Typhoon. But yeah, it's a gorgeous day today. Really nice blue sky, sun shining. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there were some animals around here somewhere. And we're probably going to check out this uh, hedge maze afterwards, just here. Like we saw from on the coaster, quite a big hedge maze. So we'll give that a go through the tunnel. I'm pretty sure there were some animals around here last time. Oh, not a plastic dinosaur. There we go, there's some animals down plastic here. Plastic. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they were real last time. There's a plastic coat for you, look. There you go. It's a bit bigger than the one I bought with Charlotte. If you haven't watched all the vlogs from this trip, definitely check them out. And back at the start, we said I, I bought Charlotte a little uh, goat statue. Not quite as big as that one. <laughs> yeah, that dinosaur makes no sense, does it really? <laughs> Just a bit of random scenery. You've got to think I'll part like this. You know, there's 200 people booked in for this morning here. I imagine there's 200 for the afternoon session. They're not making much money here. You know, to come down, give them some support. They can't afford to have massive rides and uh, invest in loads of theming. That's why I'm quite impressed with Ziggy's, to be honest. Like, they spent quite a bit of money on that with all the lighting and uh, there was some smoke effects in there. You know, I think it's a nice ride for what is a very, very small part that's clearly just like a, a farm, what's been developed over the years. Um, I certainly think they do a good job at what they do. I actually got a bit of information just here as well about the uh, Milky Way Railway. So here we go, it tells you that it was built in 1994. And some more information just here as well. 
So the engine was diesel, but made to look like a steam engine. And the track carriages and engine all came from Thorpe Park, as we can see um, just there. There's so a bit of information um, all about it. But um, yeah, it's a really nice classic uh, train, really enjoyable. It's only a short layout. I would say we're turning back round now and heading down that way towards the park again. But it's something. A bit more information just down there. Major alterations to the engine were required. It's been built to only go in a straight line. This was all completed in 2006 when it opened on the reduced half mile route due to the construction of the roller coaster. Okay, so it used to be a bit longer. Then of course they extended the park and put this outdoor section in and had to uh, change the route. But it's nice how they put that in there. Could do with replacing that bit of paper. <laughs> it looks like that's from 1994 as well. <laughs> and you've also got some more information about uh, birds around here, about magpies, how many magpies can you spot, about some of the different flowers you can see around here. Little parrot there as well. Around. Oh, there we go, man in the maze just down there. Yeah, we'll go and check this out. This maze looks really good, doesn't it, Charlotte? Don't lose me. I don't remember going in the maze last time. I don't think I did it. I don't remember it anyway. But uh, we'll go and head down into the maze and uh, go and give that a go next. You can see all the, the main building there itself. From what I remember, they've got like a little mini golf here as well. That's just out on the other side. There was a big uh, slide where you sit in like a tube. Not yeah. too sure if that's on or not at the moment, but we'll see. It's people queuing for it, so I guess. Oh, oh, is it? Oh, there we go. It should be, uh, should be on then, so we're going to check that out. It's a unicorn. Man. It's a unicorn! A rainbow unicorn. It's probably about a five minute ride or so. Not a bad little train actually. Got a zebra down here as well. But for any of our American viewers who may be watching, a zebra. Just watching the train pass by. And here we are back in the station. Back in Woody Bay. I like all the uh, signs up there on the walls. And there we go. Nice little ride round on the train here at the Milky Way Adventure Park. Oh, here he is, look, it's Ziggy himself. Ziggy says, it's the maze challenge. Wherever you see Ziggy, just copy what she's doing. But if it's not Ziggy, don't do it. Oh, so we've got to look out for Ziggy and it's only got to be Ziggy that we've got to copy, nobody else. So that's Ziggy himself. We like your blast quest though, very good. Keep your distance. And here we go. Let's go and uh, check this out. Please respect nature and our environment, climbing through the hedges or damaging the trees. So there we go, make sure we don't do any of that. We'll head round to the entrance just down here. Ziggy, where are you? Ziggy? Ziggy? Oh, so here we are then, in the hedge maze. Oh, is that a dead end? Oh, got it. Go around this way. I was trying to make it dramatic, but yeah, we'll carry on round in this hedge maze. I definitely didn't come in here last time. I don't remember it at all. It is all tarmac though down here, so it's not one of those where they change it every so often. Oh, hold well on, oh. Ziggy says... There we go. Walk, walk, walk like you're on the moon. moon. Here we go. <laughs> We're on the moon, I reckon it's definitely this way. It's not this way. Here we go. What's he got there? What's he doing? Is he back? Looks like he's fighting a sausage there. I think he's supposed to be boxing, but it looks like a sausage to me. Let's go around this way. Oh, what we got down here on this side? It's a seagull! It's a seagull! One of our favourites. There he is, Bert the seagull. Looks like he's got some uh, bees next to him as well there. Yeah. Right, seagull. Do we have to do anything? Like, we have to flap like you're a seagull or something? No, no. Squirrel! Squirrel! <laughs> oh my god, that was scary. Don't ever do that again. That was scary, that was. He scared the viewers, put him off the tee. <laughs> oh, oh, somebody else around here. I don't know where the exit is. Where did, which way did we come just? This way. Away we go, Ziggy says. Ziggy says. What's he say? Spin round and round like a planet at least ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like I'm on a flat ride. Oh, you did it eleven, you have to do it again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're on a flat ride, yeah. yeah. It's quite a big maze. I think we're gonna be stuck in here for a while. Look at the size of this. 15 minutes later, we're still going. <laughs> no, really, it's been about five minutes, but here we go. Ziggy says, act like the first monkey ever sent into space. And here's a little performance stage. And here's the monkey, here we go. Oh, do we got no sound effects? 
<laughs> that monkey's very excited in space. Very excited. <laughs> Come on, Ziggy, get us out of this maze. <laughs> Where are we going? Ziggy, get here, Ziggy. Right, Sean. So Ziggy says, hop on your right leg five times. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. There you go. Thanks, Ziggy. <laughs> hey, here we go then. After about 10 minutes and 10 different things that Ziggy's asked us to do, We've made it here to the end of the hedge maze at the Milky Way. Finally, here's the exit. <laughs> but there's a nice little uh, maze to walk around that. You enjoy that, Charlotte? Yes, it was good fun. It's very hot today, absolutely sweating. I'd say it's the hottest day we've had of this trip. Really, really hot today, but I think we'll make our way back inside now, do the dodgems and check out some of them other indoor areas, what they've got as well. And we'll go back outside and check out the other outdoor section. It's basically in two outdoor sections here. You've got this one uh, where you've got the couple of different coasters out here, the train and the maze. And then you've got another outdoor section where it's got the golf, the slide and a couple of other bits as well. So we'll head around that way. You can see where there'd normally be some catering outlets. They've actually had to close them just because of the one-way system they've put into place. With it being mostly indoors here at the Milky Way Adventure Park, I imagine it was quite a hard task for them to decide on what they wanted to do in terms of an operation. Um, but yeah, you can see they've moved all the tables out of here um, just so they can do a one-way system around, really. Yeah, we'll head down towards the uh, Dodgems. I think they're just down here, actually, on the left. You can certainly do quite a bit more with some of these rooms here. Like I say, you know, money is of course a, a big issue for somewhere like this that's small. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of potential here in terms of what they could do if they really wanted to in terms of some different areas. We'll head to the left just in here. We're going to check out the Dodgems. The uh, nice and clear though, all these markers. Like, look at this. Really nicely done. Plenty of hand sanitizer. There we go. Let's go on these nice indoor Dodgems great in here because it's dark and you've just got the lights on the dodging cars. Really nice and atmospheric. Look at that. Really like the lighting package on these dodgems here at the Milky Way Adventure Park. Just thought I'd let you know on what they do. So the footage you saw just, they were going quite a bit faster than what they are now. What we've realized is they do like two sessions and you can see that on the signage here. They do a slower session where there's no bumping allowed and it's slower for the kids. Then they do a faster session. So we're going to be on the faster session next time. And the member of staff just come down the queue and told people what's going on with that. So yeah, the next one will be faster. Quite a good idea really, meaning that kids can go on it and know they're not going to get bumped about. And then of course it means that for the bigger kids like us, um, we can go on next and know that it's going to be a bit of a faster ride. Right then, here we go. On the Dodgem, so I think it starts a bit slower, then we get a bit faster. There's Charlotte. She's over there. Great lighting on here. One way round, no head on bumping, but you can bump. Here she is. There's Ziggy. Here we go, speeding up a bit now. That's what we want. Who's that? <laughs> Little blue men. Oh, we're getting a pile up. Oh no. There's Charlotte in front. We're gonna get her. Oh. <laughs> skip, skip, Serby. I need to stop singing these vlogs. <laughs> The floor's really greasy here in the middle. Oh, the car keeps getting stuck on it. It's very greasy. I can hardly move. 
So my ride footage there from the Dodgems here at the Milky Way Adventure Park. How was your ride? I don't think much of that. No, I mean the fact they did the faster one and the slower one. Um, yeah, it's a good system what they got in place. It was a little bit faster yeah, um, but not our one. Much. I think it looks better than it yeah, rides. Yeah, it looks a lot better than it rides. It makes it that it's indoors and it's got all the lighting effects and the fact that strobing the lights every so often is really quite nice. And there's some good classic music on there. I need to stop singing in these vlogs. I keep singing. You need to stop. <laughs> Charlotte's the professional singer. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go through this little sci-fi walkthrough now. Remember this here last time and got a lot of comments on the vlog, people saying they absolutely loved the look of this. So I'll show you all again for those of you that may not have seen the vlog I did two years ago. Sci-fi walkthrough, the stuff from Doctor Who, Star Wars and loads of other stuff. This is the kind of display I need for all my theme park memorabilia this is. So let's head inside and go and take a nice detailed look round. Exterminate, exterminate. Here we go. So we've got these Daleks just here. All sorts of stuff. It's who? Ood. Is it? Yeah. How do you know it? I don't know who it is. Yeah, but... I used to love Doctor Who. Oh, there you go. Oh, we've got a Doctor Who fangirl in here, have we? Doctor Who used to be good. Oh, oh, here we go. Controversial. There we go. We've got the public call box there, the TARDIS. Head around this the way. Angels. I used is to it, are, you, are you making all no, this I'm up or not? I used to be terrified of them. I couldn't watch the episode. It was called Blink. Oh, he's coming for you. No, yeah. it's called Blink. So basically, if you blink, they come closer than the God, I never knew. Hang on, I'm learning stuff here. Charlotte's a Doctor Who expert. I'm not an expert. Whoa, that is crazy. Right, let's go inside. Let's go have a look through. Here we go. Sci-fi memorabilia this way. We've got the sanitizer station there. Pop some of that on. Here we go. Oh, I love the pinball machines. Star Wars pinball. Da, 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 da. What a great collection of sci-fi memorabilia. Like, very random how it's here, but at least it's on display for people to enjoy. Look at all this. Brilliant. Chewbacca just here on the left. So you got all of these on the left hand side, then here in all the. Oh, there we go, yeah, Star Wars Mickey down the bottom. Yeah, you got all these in here. I mean, I bet this stuff is worth an absolute fortune. Absolutely crazy. But yeah, this is someone's collection that, of course, they've got on display here for people to come and see. And what a really nice collection. It's all done out nice. It smells a little bit in here, doesn't it? <laughs> Got a bit of a stench to it, I think, in here. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of Star Wars fans that would really enjoy this in here. Seeing it all. Da -da 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 -da. Again, they've got all the social distancing markers just down in here as well. So you can walk around and see it all. Were there any ones in here? What have we got here then, Charlotte? I don't like Star Wars. Oh, you don't so have a clue? Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't know if you're going to pull that one out of the bag, you see that I've, you... I've never <laughs> been a big fan of Star Wars. No, no, I've seen a couple of the films, but... i tell you what, though, I do like the rides. I do like Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy's Edge is stunning. I don't know what half the stuff is, but I do really like it. There we go. These are made of uh, Lego just over here. There we go, all made of Lego bricks. How many Lego bricks do you think there is there? God, wow. thousands, maybe what, four or five thousand Lego bricks? Unfortunately, the post has fallen. Oh, gutted, gutted. Yeah, what a really nice collection. I know that's BB-8. If it was BB -8. Doctor Who stuff, I'd be able to get some fat. Oh, I know, we've got BB-8 down the back I've just seen there. These are uh, from, um, I don't know what they're called now, but these, you see them on uh, Rise of the Resistance. Yeah. You actually go up like in a lift right next to them on Rise of the Resistance. It's broken a bit here though, but um, yeah, I, I, people are probably laughing at this now, thinking how can they, can they be so clueless of Star Wars, but it's just not our thing. I know that's a Stormtrooper, just there. That's BB-8 down there. That's about all I know. I know Darth Vader. I don't know if he's Vader in here. Oh yeah, he's over here. That's Vader. I know a little bit, but I don't know who this is over here. I've never seen that before. I like him though. I like his big nostrils. Like, look at that. He's lovely. There's Darth Vader. <laughs> The Vader. Don't got who? Jabba. Jabba, which one's that? The big, like, slug thing. Oh, I don't know. I don't have a clue. I thought that was Mr. Potato Head first from Toy Story. That's how clueless I am. That doesn't that look like? Oh, it is Mr. Potato it Head. It is Mr. Potato Head. Oh, right. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Star Wars version. I didn't even know Mr. Potato Head was in Star Wars. He's not. Well, why is he there? They've just dressed him up. Oh, right, okay. Mr. Potato Head. We've got Mickey There's down here. Jabba. Ah, oh, that one. That's Jabba. There he is. Oh, God, he looks like he's got a wet mouth. <laughs> what a collection, though. Like, this is very, very impressive. 
All the wrong little proxy sensors, there we go. That's, is that Kylo Ren? No, it's not, is it? I don't know. Darth Maul. I don't have a clue. Honestly, I need to stop talking about Star Wars. <laughs> you know what my favourite thing is in here? It's these pinball machines. Love a good pinball machine, I do. There is actually a roller coaster tycoon pinball machine out there. It used to be on South Pier in Blackpool, but not seen it since. And here we go. That's Dave Bailey's collection. Of course, you've got all his information just here. He's been collecting all his Star Wars memorabilia, sci fi memorabilia. And in 2015, it was all boxed and split up across various different lofts and sheds. And of course, his collection came here, supporting uh, Make a Wish. There we go. And there's the little donation box just there at the side. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. Really, really good collection what he's got here. Brilliant. I'm sure if he was here, he'd be able to tell us all about it, wouldn't you, Dave? Brilliant. So we've just seen the impressive sci-fi collection there inside. Made our way to that other outdoor area now. Like I've said throughout the video, you've got two main outdoor areas. Uh, the main one with the roller coasters and the train ride is on the other side. And this one here's just got a few different bits of play equipment. You've got this uh, big bouncing trampoline here. Oh, inflatable. Uh, and then we've got this big slide that we're going to go on. So I'll take you on with the GoPro on this one. Um, along with that, you've got a nice big grassy area. There's golf around there and also a Birds of Prey centre. Charlotte's so, so looking forward to this one let's go on let's take you on <laughs> here we go ziggy you ready Yay! here she is getting ready to go so you get asked if you want to go for a fast spin a slow spin or no spin what are you gonna have fast spin she's gonna have a fast spin here we go Bye. that's it she's getting in here we go hey off she goes <laughs> Hey, onto the brakes, right? I go now. Right, first person to do this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cheers, mate. I'll just go forwards this time, if that's all right. Here we go. Hey. Ah! Oh. Into the brakes. There we go. Lovely. Right then, so it's time for some food now. We've got a bit of Charlotte's food review. Oh, bit of an echo. What have you got then? I've just got tomato and cheese pasta. Tomato and cheese pasta. How much was that? Well, with the fantastic Eat <laughs> Out to help out scheme. Yes. It was £3.22. Not too bad. So normally it would have been double that. Yeah, it would have been like £6 something. Yeah, yeah. so there you go. But um, yeah, if you're not a UK resident watching this video, our government at the moment throughout August um, on Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays are doing half price on sit down eating food. Um, and a lot of theme parks have also signed up for that as well. So it means that things are half price. I've just got a little snack for now um, just down here because I'll have some more food later on. I don't really get too hungry though really when it's so hot to be honest. It's more just drinks and I didn't buy this here. That was a pound from Tesco. <laughs> I'm sure I said that in another vlog yesterday. In terms of the uh, play equipment just here, massive play area over the back there. It is closed at the moment, of course, due to social distancing, but they have got it. And what would you give that a 10? 10. Is that really good? It looks all right, that. There you go, you have quite a nice portion as well. So we'll uh, yeah, carry on eat it and then we'll do a couple more re-rides. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be the end of our vlog from here. And we'll look at the Birds of Prey Centre as well. Right then, so we just had some lunch there, haven't we? Well, I had a little snack, you've had your lunch. That was really nice, I'd recommend that, it was lovely. You love that, didn't you? There's not loads of food options here at I the like moment. pasta, you can have meatballs, pizzas, nachos, very nice. Yeah, that's all available there. There's not much in terms of other available food here, though. No, so if you're um, a yeah. eater, I'd recommend you bring the pack lunch. Yeah, definitely, just beware of that. Anyway, we're going to watch the uh, Birds of Prey show just over here now. So we'll oh. sit on the grass, put a little bit of uh, footage in so you can see this. Beautiful day for it, get some sun cream on, chill out here on the grass. Lovely. Let them touch it. Not till I think they've done enough work, but the deal is, and there has to be a deal because I'm not altogether in control. The deal is, if he can dive at me so cleverly or so fast that he hits this when he's not meant to, then I'll just drop it on the ground like that. That's the plan now. Hey, here he is. That birdie, don't waste your time watching me because there's not much about flying. This old boy doesn't know. He knows. Here he comes. Watch. Oh, see that? If he hits it, he wins it. And he's going off. He's looking for some rising air. Do you know what? There just isn't any. So don't waste your time looking at me. Try and keep him in view. <laughs> well done, Stitch. There we go, that's he's Stitch. Working his way out there, right across the trees. Let's hope he's got the strength to get his fat, lazy backside back here. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
quite a worry when I can't see my birds. The pond is sitting Here comes the big eagle. Like did the other day. This is Eddie. Now he is right now flying around on the wrong side of the building, but he's doing quite well. He's staying airborne. He's going to burn out very quickly over here. That's where I want him, right over those rooftops. The wind's coming from the sea, right? It's coming from behind the buildings. It can't go through these buildings. It's got to go up and over the top. So if my eagle goes right over the rooftops, over there, the flying will be easy. Unfortunately, we can't see any of that. Oh, yes. oh. No, no, you're too low. You're too low, mate. That's rubbish. And I know. I know it's tricky. Here we go, Charlotte's looking at the vulture. They're rubbish at hunting. Vulture. What do you think to him? <laughs> they, they don't catch their dinner with Here he is. like the other birds. They're like their dinner already dead and preferably a little bit smelly too. I bet they're really important. You see, where these things exist, they're the most important animal in the ecosystem because they're half doctor and half dustbin man. This is the bird in the wild who stops diseases from happening. There's <laughs> enough acid in a in a vulture's tummy to kill any virus or bacteria known to man. So if animals are dying from a disease, the vultures come along and eat those carcasses. And that stops that disease from going any further. And nothing else works in quite the same way. No, I'm not rewarding you for that, Bones. No, clear off. Do a little bit more. And don't land on the ground. Let me tell you this one's life story. So that's Here we go, we've got a really fast one now. That particular shape. We've got to watch this out, he might come through our shoulders. Like so watch out. That Shed Here he is. like a duck back. Whoa. It's 18 times faster than yours or mine. Because you can't think that I need two layers of leather to keep my hands safe from. <laughs> He's got a bite that uh, it can take the end off my finger very easily. I didn't see a live peregrine until I was 26 because we'd nearly wiped them all out. We trapped them, shot them. Some highlights there from the Birds of Prey show. Did you enjoy seeing them vultures? It goes on for a bit long. <laughs> I tell you what, he's very, very good at what he, he does. does. Yeah. But yeah, I think once you've seen a few, like we've been sat there about 25 still minutes, going. you know, he's still going. But uh, he's very, very good at what he does. He's fantastic. It's but just uh, so hot to yeah, there. it's a bit hot because there's no shade or anything. You know, we're sat right there. We thought we're absolutely baking, aren't we? Look at these tan lines. It's going mad. Thought we'll come back inside. Plus, there's only 200 people here. I reckon everyone's pretty much sat yeah, out there. So we'll have a couple of rides round on yeah. Ziggy's Blast Quest. Probably do that. Have another ride on Cosmic. I won't take you on Cosmic again, but I'll take you for another ride on Ziggy's Blast Quest because there's quite a lot to see in there. I'll try and show you some different angles with the GoPro this time and then we'll wrap up our vlog here from the Milky Way like I say we're visiting two parks today we're off to the big sheep this afternoon yes, and we're gonna get to see get some to goats see the goats 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 so yes I'll get the GoPro goats. back on and we'll take you on Ziggy's blast quest again let's go
go then, just another ride there on Ziggy's Blast Quest. We also did Cosmic Typhoon again just outside as well, but our visit has come to an end. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been nice. It's a nice little family park. You don't come expecting a massive full-on theme park with loads of different attractions, but what they have got is really nice. Yeah, it's nice. And I think Ziggy's Blast Quest is fantastic uh, for a small little park like this. Bear in mind, they've only got 200 people coming on the morning session. I imagine the same this afternoon. They're not making much money here yeah. at all. That's why I wanted to come down, give them some support, and I want you guys all to come and do that too. Support your parks. That's what we're doing this summer here at Theme Park Worldwide, more so than ever. Uh, but yeah, Ziggy's is fantastic. The theming in there is great, isn't it? Yeah, really good. Oh, really nice what they've done. It's interactive as well. Um, you know, it's just been a really nice day. We saw the Falcon show. He's really good at what he does. Not really our cup of tea, but it's on offer here. And we only paid just over £11. It was £11.95, I think, for yeah, like £11.95 each to come in, which I don't think is bad at, bad all. at all. They're running two sessions a day at the moment. Moment. Um, and of course they've got another session coming in this afternoon. Uh, but yeah, it's been really good. There's a nice selection of rides here. The Dodgems is good fun. You've got the sci-fi exhibition as well. Overall, it's been a nice visit. Yeah, we've had a nice time. So this afternoon we're going to make our way now. It's only about eight miles away, about 15 minute drive down to the Big Sheep. So that'll be the next vlog coming up. Yes. And also the final vlog from this little trip that me and Charlotte have done um, around Cornwall and Devon. So check out the other vlogs if you've not seen them. Uh, but of course we've got so much more coming up on Theme Park Worldwide as we continue on throughout all August here on the channel so we'll see you in the next vlog from the big sheep we're going to be getting on rampage a fantastic roller coaster what they've got there that actually used to be way up north a long way from here used to be up in gateshead at the metro center so we're going to be getting on that to be charlotte's first uh, time getting on that yeah. but we think you've been to the big sheep before we I think. think i can't 100 remember back when she was a kid maybe yeah. when we get there you'll recognize maybe. it but that's the next vlog coming up stay tuned for it here on theme park worldwide from the milky way adventure park that means it's time to cue those credits Bye. See you with the big sheep, goats.